Um, good evening, all. So the next assignment that I had given you is on computer networks. So before we go for the assignment, have a look at your syllabus. And this is one of the most uh, easiest chapters, but the one chapter which you overcomplicate by studying a lot of things. So I would suggest if you're studying this chapter, you're revising this chapter, you, you might have already studied for your school exams, but uh, you can take each word here and you can uh, start studying only one line about each of these topics given in your syllabus. They cannot go beyond your syllabus and ask you any question. And if they do so, we will automatically get marks like any other subject, right? So what is evolution of networking? What is ARPANET? What is NSFNET? So just read it like, even if you're studying from your Sumitha Arora book, do not study all the details because you will not be needing them. Because uh, for the sample question paper and the additional practice paper, the pattern that they have given us, there are three MCQs, only one two mark question and a five mark question on land design. So for the three MCQs, I'm sure if you just give a reading to all these words, if you know what is a radio wave, what is a microwave, so all these things, if you know, you should definitely be able to do very well uh, in your exam. So at the end of this video, you can also find the answers to your assignment. Yes, I'm doing it now. I will upload that also. And... Uh, you can also see a question bank, which is given by KV schools, which has question answer type of questions, like short answers with the question and the answer is there also. So you can also go through that for your two mark questions. So which apart from that, I don't think you need to do anything for your exam, right? So it's a very easy topic to score marks from. So the only five mark question that we have is your land design. So in land design question, there are going to be say, five questions and there are only seven patterns they can ask you questions on. So if you if you remember what is the question they will ask, they will be giving you some buildings, right? They will be giving you A, B, C and let's say D. And they would be giving you the minimum distances and they would be giving the number of computers. So the first question would be on topology. So what is the way in which you have to connect them? So for this, they will accept any answer. So you can either give a minimum cable length so minimum cable length, you can otherwise call that as a bus topology. So based on the shortest distance, you will connect them like this probably. So you can you can just say this is a minimum cable length or a bus topology. You can also draw and show that you will have a lot of time for computer science. So three hours is more time. So you can definitely do it very neatly and give them a feeling that you are a topper, right? So topology, you have a minimum cable length bus or you can always choose if you know the number of computers is more in a system, let's say B, then you can just say this is A, C, A, C, D. And you can say this is a star topology. So this is your first question. So always the answer will either be a bus or a star. Usually we don't go in for a tree. The only three topologies in your syllabus is bus, star, and tree. So ideally, I don't think in any of the so far question papers from 2012, they have not asked a tree topology here. In 2022, there was a question which said, give distinguish between uh, star and tree topology. Other than that, the tree word has not come in any of the question papers so far. Okay, so this is the first question based on topology. Second question is usually, where will you place the server? This is the second question. So generally, when you have maximum number of computers, So this is a better answer to give, though in some guides, some other answers also given, but ideally from board marking scheme point of view, this is a much better answer and common sense answer to write. So there are maximum number of computers, which means maximum people will be there. So that is the better place to have the server because they can very quickly access all the resources. Now, the third question is usually based on type of network. So the type of network formed, whether it is LAN, MAN, WAN, so within a city, we choose a man. Within a building, we choose a land. And within anything else, you choose a van. So they can ask you the type of network formed. And they can also ask you, this is question type number four. They can ask you, what is the type of transmission medium? So type of transmission medium could be wired or wireless. They can ask you that in the question also. They can ask you which is the wired medium you will use, which is the wireless medium you will use. So based on the conditions or the keywords that they use, you can look at the notes at the end of this. And you can see that when you have a economical, you will go in for twisted pair. When you say high quality, speed, high speed, you will go in for optical fiber if it's a wired medium. Sometimes they will not specify wired or wireless, but they will give a clue saying hilly region. In hilly region, it is difficult to dig in 
lay cables. So for that reason, you will always prefer radio waves. But if at all it is within a city, man, then they are given the answer as microwaves also. So if it's a hilly region, so what's the advantage of, uh, what's the major difference is radio waves and microwaves. Uh, in radio waves, you, ha you have omnidirectional. You don't have to align the antenna to get receive the signal. Whereas in microwave, you have to align the antenna, which means obviously if it is going to be like from here to Delhi, from Chennai to Delhi or very far away, it is going to be very, very difficult to align the antenna in that way. So that is one thing. And of course, both of them are susceptible to weather, I believe. So that could not be the reasoning factor here. So type of transition media, you have to go through the advantages, read the question properly. And usually if it is economical, you will go in for wireless, you will go in for radio waves. Satellite is not given in your syllabus. But yes, if at all you want a better quality, you will go in for satellite. So 90% of the times, the answer for wireless is going to be radio waves. They will be asking hilly region and the most, uh, the best way of connecting and all those stories, then it is going to be radio waves for you. To read the question properly here. Then devices. They will try to cover every topic that you have studied here in your land design. That's the beauty of this question. So any topic that you have studied, they will just want you to write that one word here. So in devices, they could ask within a, within a lab. Usually hub is now outdated. Hub is like it, it was used as the first network device. But now switches and routers are there. So modem, you have to know all the devices. So what a modem does, it gives internet connectivity and then connects you with the ISP, internet service provider. All these stories modem does. And then what a hub or a switch. So switch is an intelligent hub and then router will avoid network congestion. So there is an uh, intelligent switch, you can say. And uh, then you have your uh, re repeater. Repeater, they will ask a question. They might, because they can say, if you prevent loss of signals, you use a repeater. So one of the devices, in, they'll give you a situation and ask you which device you will use here. If there is more than one computer, you need a hub or a switch. So that is clear. And even if you can draw and show, show the layout like this, you can just say, I'll put a switch here. So if there are only three in each, suggest the placement. The question will be suggest the placement. So you can put a yes here and give a legend here saying yes means switch. So you have all the build blocks here. You're connecting them. You can put a R here. So you can say R repeater. It is a land design question. Remember a five mark question. If you have to write for your, let's say, a uh, bigger social chapter, how will you write it? You will write at least two pages like that. So instead, you can just try to be very nice in presenting your land design. So you can draw a rough sketch there. And if they ask you, suggest the placement of a switch or a repeater, then you can always draw diagrams and show this. Now, coming to the reasoning for this, if there is more than one computer, you need a switch, very clear. If the distance is greater than, in your answer key of board exam, it is given as 100 meter. So in some books, it is 80 meter, some book it's 90 meter, but as per board marking scheme, it is greater than 100 meter. So if you are using a topology, which is having a cable length is more than 100 meter, then only we'll put a repeater. If you have chosen a topology, which does not have that, then you can always say there is no repeater required because all the distances are less than 100 meter. Always give that in the reason also, right? So now you come back to your protocols. So in protocols, they can ask you any one protocol based on file transfer, which protocol you will use for remote login, what you will use, you will use Telnet. And then they can ask you voice, you can use this email protocols, they can ask you which protocol you will use for email. So one of the protocols could be the answer for that question. So that is one very possible question. So I think basically, I think that's it. And then there is one final question where they can ask you something about your firewall. So prevent unauthorized access. It can be either a hardware or a software. Both are available in a firewall. So it, what is the device which is used to prevent unauthorized access? You will always say firewall is the device, right? So it will come under devices also. So these are the maximum type of questions they can ask. And it has been repeated for the past, I think, 12, 13 years. This is the same. Even when C++ was there in the syllabus, the same question was being asked for four marks. Now it has become a five mark question for you. So I think this is going to be pretty easy for you. So now let's go to your assignment. So I'm going to upload the answers for the MCQs. I'm not going to discuss them with you. Most of them are very pretty straightforward. And even the assertion reason questions, I'll upload the answers. You can just check. And if you have any doubts, you can always comment back to me. I have not checked the answers. So I'm not very sure if, if there's an error, let me know, right? So now this is the 
first assignment question of land design suggest the most suitable place to house the server come back here house server block c you have to say block c and then we can also say y because it has maximum number of computers connect all the blocks so all these blocks are at the same place type of network always means lan because the distance is within the distance is within a 100 meters within a kilometer itself we will use a lan so the, the entire distance is between they are all in the same place so it's going to be a lan here all the blocks secure and high speed wired medium all these are clues for us we have to just definitely go for optical fiber So optical fiber, you can also again say the same things again. Optical fiber is highly secure. It is a high speed wired medium. Uh, it works on the principle of any story you want to write also. You can write here, but yes, it's for one mark. So at least optical fiber is a better option here. Suggest the most suitable wired medium for efficiently connecting each computer. Each computer connected in. So here we can go in with coaxial cable. Right. So single pair telephone cable is not efficient. Ethernet cable is also outdated nowadays. Coaxial cable is the bigger one with a black shielding. So it is better because it will at least prevent some to some level. It will withstand the rain and heat. And uh, this is the five mark question. So it should be from your additional practice paper, I believe. Suggest the most appropriate location of the server. So we come back to the number of computers here. Admin is here. So I will say admin. You can always justify your answer giving the same reason. You can say that it has maximum number of computers. Draw the cable layout to effectively connect. So we can start with and see how it is. Let's see from admin. It is 90, 75 and 50. And uh, decorate a 65, 50. So if, if I choose my star topology. So admin to foot this 50 meters. This is 75 and this is 90. Right, so I can just say draw a cable layout. You can draw that. Which hardware device will you suggest to connect all the computers within each building? I will go with a switch. Give an advantage of switch also, but because it's a one mark question, which hardware device is switch is half a mark and then say why? Because it is better, it will not just broadcast. Hub and switch, the main difference is hub will just broadcast. It is like standing out and shouting. Right? Come on, this person, come and collect your book like that. Whereas, which knows? Okay, this is in section. This 10 standard textbook it has to go to 10 standard classroom and then you can shout out. So, that is one difference which I can definitely mention here. So, switch is and give also give a reason. Face to face communication. Obviously, it is video conferencing. Let how I'm doing with you, right? What type of network is, will be set up? Okay, the Mumbai campus gets connected with the headquarters in Delhi. From Mumbai to Delhi, the distance is going to be how much? 1000 kilometers. More than that, I'm not sure. So anyway, it's more, right? So it cannot be a LAN. So this has to be a wide area network. It's not the same city also, right? The computer is connected in the Mumbai campus. So within the Mumbai campus, they are all within, if you look at the distance, or oh, they're given the 1475 kilometers. They have given that also here. So definitely it is going to be a wide area network there. In Mumbai campus, it is going to be a LAN because they are in the same place within the same locality. Right. So I will stop here. Please go through and this 10 marks is a confirmed 10 marks for you. So we can easily score this 10 marks in networks by just going through the concepts in a very easy way. Do not buy heart anything. Just try to recollect one one sentence, one advantage of each type of topology, one difference between different network devices. So just go through all the uh, resources that have been uploaded and I think uh, it is easy for you to complete it. Right. Yeah.